Let's say hi to all these beautiful people. Hello. Welcome to the BIPOC hour. Yeah. I'm, is, do I go? Go go ahead. I'm Isaiah Solange. <laughs> and um, Naika Champagne. And today we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. A, a uh, lot of really important things. Yes. Let's talk about representation in the Quebec industry. And that's like globally, right? Fait qu'on va parler d'art, on va parler déjà des événements. We're going to be talking about the media aussi. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about it? J'ai tellement de choses à dire, moi. I mean, I, could only, <laughs> I can only speak from my own experiences, mm -hmm. um, which, like, I'm going to preface this by saying that, like, I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> Okay. No, but I'm just going to say it like that. Women, the points are um, the best city. Sorry? We're going to say the real affair. No, it's <laughs> that. Um, but based on my experience, so mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, talking for everybody out here because, you know, we're not a monolith. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm still processing some of the things that I've been through as well. You yeah. Know? It's uh, life, right? Life. Um, but about representation, oh my gosh. Um... I guess I could start with my experience on La Voix, because that was like... Attends, t'as fait La Voix? Ouais, j'ai fait La Voix. Same. Pour vrai? Oui. Comment ok, vas-y. <laughs> ok, commence. Ok, cool. <laughs> um, ouais, donc, j'ai fait La Voix, et une des premières interactions que j'ai eues en ligne, mm -hmm. avec comme une fan, genre, c'était tout de suite après mon audition, okay. qui a diffusé. Elle m'envoie un message, elle me dit, elle a peut-être comme 13 ans, genre, <rire> sur IG, super cute. cute. Elle me dit genre, ah, oh, euh, je suis super contente, j'ai vu ton truc, genre, ah, oh, t'es super belle, t'es super bonne, mais je te dis tout de suite, c'est pas gagné. I was like, oh, ok, that was... <rire> Et juste comme ça, là. Ouais, juste comme ça. Cool. And I was like, ok, j'ai pris un peu de recul, là, parce que c'est quand même un peu comme... Ben, je te connais pas, là. Que... Non, c'est ça. <rire> mais en même temps, c'est comme... Mais... C'est quelque chose qui me vient en tête. Right. So, like, why is that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Why is it that she would think right away, like, oh, you're my favorite already, but I know you're not going to, like, yeah. go through, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so that's just, like, a little instead of that. Mm -hmm. Puis on sait pourquoi. On you sait know? pourquoi. On sait pourquoi. Le Québec, est... <laughs> quand ça vient de la représentation, c'est pas mal la même affaire tout le temps. Mm -hmm. Blanc comme neige. <laughs> ouais. um, puis aussi une idée très spécifique de qu'est-ce qui peut faire le marché mm. juste de, de la musique en tant que telle aussi là c'est comme récemment il y a une il y a une je me souviens plus c'est qui la je pense genre Nathalie Roy qui, je pense c'est elle qui était comme maintenant dans les établissements de ministères et gouvernementaux et tout ça il y a juste de la musique québécoise qui peut passer puis il y a le breakdown de musique québécoise 90% de qui est de la musique qui est francophone, mm. et le 10 est resté pour euh, de la musique qui est faite par euh, les personnes autochtones et les personnes euh, anglophones. Donc, si tu sépares ça en deux, il y a comme 5 pour, like, like, both of them. Mm. But it's like, you're not talking about the fact that, like, for centuries, you've just, like, been colonizing and just, like, perpetually, like, creating, like, just, like, the, the whole genocide of indigenous people, because... La plupart d'eux ne parlent pas leur langue, mm -hmm. <laughs> first and foremost. Les anglophones, like, puis on va parler des personnes qui immigrent ici. Il euh, y a tellement, il y a tellement pas de comme bonnes ressources pour que les personnes apprennent le français de manière comme realistic. Mm -hmm. Just because French is just such an elite language. It was created for like elites. It's so hard to literally learn French. Mm -hmm with all the rules that make no sense, puis je suis francophone. Ouais. <laughs> And just like, c'est aussi tellement genré, c'est tellement sexiste. Il y a plein d'affaires qu'on peut dire ça en française, mais juste ça, justement, ça, ça exclut tellement une grande proportion de gens qui habitent au Québec. And it's like, c'est... C'est juste renversant quand littéralement elle était comme... Je trouvais ça renversant que je prenais l'ascenseur puis j'entendais une chanson américaine en anglais pendant que je prenais l'ascenseur. Comme on parle vraiment de ça là, en ce moment-là. Comme il y a tout d'affaires qui se passe dans le monde puis c'est ça qu'on décide de parler. Anyways, so, juste qu'il n'y a aucune représentation pour ce qui est autre que 
leur image de qu'est-ce qui est québécois, qui est très... Ça s'en dit beaucoup aussi. Ça exclut genre exclusivement vraiment beaucoup les Autochtones, puis ça exclut just, you know, les personnes racisées à 100% aussi. And it's like... I don't know, like... On va prendre Keitra, par exemple. You know? It's just like... Pas de longueuil, là. <laughs> yeah. You know? He should be like the poster boy for like excellence. Partout, partout, partout. partout, partout And it's like... Ça leur a appris, puis même encore là, c'est pas comme si comme, ils parlent tant de Keitra comme ça, mais ça leur a appris que Keitra parte de Montréal, qu'il au State, qu'il fait ses affaires, puis tout, puis tout, pour que le Québec commence à être comme mm. art, notre artiste québécois. Mm. You know? And it's like... C'est plus encore Mulnay, prophète, yeah. soir, whatever. You know? Mais c'est encore plus le cas quand tu es... Yeah. <laughs> Melanated. Yeah. And yeah. it's... It's just like... It's frustrating parce que, um, ben, premièrement, le Québec va juste comme jamais reconnaître qu'il y a du <rire> racisme systémique. Mais hein? non. Donc, comment ça va reconnaître qu'il y a un manque de représentation dans, dans leurs médias, dans leurs arts? Non, non, non. Like, there's je... just no... Quand je suis allée à Denis Lévesque, j'ai carrément dit ça. J'ai dit qu'une des raisons pour laquelle comme, j'aime être à la télé ou whatever, mm -hmm. c'est pour justement comme, représenter... Un, un groupe de personnes que, you know, yeah. that are just underrepresented. J'ai dit comme, oh, you know, when I was younger, j'ai dit en français, obviously, but <laughs> I'm going to choose the colonial language that I want to right now, which is English. <laughs> so I told him, like, listen, um, when I was growing up, I would have loved to see people who look mm -hmm. like me on magazines, on TV, like, whatever. Um, and I told him about, like, beauty standards and stuff. And he tried to dismiss what I was saying by saying, of course. Like, mais non, mais t'es belle, hein? De quoi tu parles? T'es jolie quand même. Quand même. Ah, uh, quand même. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, like, I didn't say I was ugly, honey. Mm -hmm. I said that I don't see my type of beauty all yeah. on TV. Like, mm -hmm. Ben, c'est pas, c'est pas qu'est-ce que les gens pensent en tant de beauté dans, si on parle de European, like, beauty standards. Exactly. It's, which is like ruling the world. Mm -hmm. C'est pas qu'est-ce qu'on entend. C'est pas qu'est-ce qu'on voit. Yeah. And that's for you to just be like, mais t'es belle quand même. Ouais. Like, what do you think? Just like, this must be it. You know? Like, you know? Ou c'est comme les gens qui sont comme... Euh, je sais pas si t'as déjà entendu ça. Mais genre, malgré tout, you know? Malgré tout, genre, t'es es, es quand même ici. T'sais, malgré tout, là. Puis t'es comme... OK, fait que tu me dis malgré tout, fait que tu sais que c'est difficile, mais tu fais juste rien pour... T'es euh, vraiment forte. T'es vraiment forte. Oh, you? Let's not get into that. <rire> La résilience. La résilience. Le super... Le super power, like... Um, yeah, just the superpowers of that is attributed to like black women's and black femmes because mm -hmm. it's just vraiment detrimental and just dehumanizes us completely when it's time for like when we do need to like speak about what we feel. Um, mais genre, c'est juste entendre des affaires comme ça que t'es comme mais tu sais que c'est tu le sais que pas représentation tu sais que c'est difficile mais tu tu fais juste dire malgré tout il y a rien il y a aucun changement. Puis aussi, tu sais, on parle de représentation, mais représentation, c'est juste, c'est pas juste nous mettre dans un espace puis c'est fini, tu sais. Mm -hmm. Il y a le côté aussi sécuritaire. Like, OK, you're, put, you're, okay, you're putting a black person. Après quoi? Genre, they're just your token? C'est yeah. tout? Like, tu penses que tu peux juste mettre une personne noire euh, dans ton industrie and just call it a day? Like, what about, like, the environment, the opportunities, the same access to, like, decision makings? Yes. to, like, move-making. Or just, It's, like, the same treatment? The same treatment. Like, I don't on, know... Tu comprends? Yeah. Genre, tu, tu mets là, mais c'est... Genre, la côté sécurité and actually, like, feeling like I can do something, est-ce que c'est présent? Puis, le Québec comprend aucunement ça. Puis moi, mm. ça, me, ça, ça me fait rire parce que... Je sais pas si tu connais l'acteur Didier Lucien qui jouait, genre, Bob dans... <laughs> Galaxy près de chez lui. Je sais pas si tu as la télé. J'écoute pas de télé, man. C'est correct. Non, mais comme... For what? <rire> On va I've se le dire. I've been staying home, reading books. Yeah. Mais ça, ça a rien de, de regarder pour de vrai la, <rire> la mm. télé québécoise. Il y, y a aucune représentation pour nous. Je Period. regardais ta tata, là. Je mais genre, mentir. même lui, comme récemment, il <rire> sortait un article, il était comme, ben moi, je regarde pas la, la, la télé québécoise. Lui-même, acteur noir mm. québécois, qui était comme, je regarde pas. Genre, ça fait quelques années qu'il est comme plus vraiment dans... 
dans la comédie puis tout. Puis il était comme, je regarde même pas ça moi non plus parce que y a, rien n'a vraiment changé. Littéralement, rien n'a vraiment changé. C'est pas normal que j'ai 26 ans puis je vois les mêmes acteurs de quand j'avais comme oh, tout 9 ans. C'est toujours la dans même, les mêmes, monde. Dans les mêmes séries, que ça soit genre, c'est quoi, yeah. une été neuf, euh, whatever. Cœur à ses raisons, yeah. whatever. Tout, Mais ils mettent comme des nouveautés, genre here and there, here juste and pour there. dire. Juste pour dire. Tu sais? Mais c'est littéralement mmh. les mêmes personnes. La relève! C'est comme, OK, mais... Oui. Il y en a, oh, ce mot-là, la de relève. Talent. Il y a beaucoup plus de talent que ça, yeah, genre, yeah. like, we know, we see yeah, yeah. it. We see it. We see them and we see the struggles, yeah. tu sais? C'est yeah. un peu ridicule, non? C'est... C'est pas mal. C'est juste pas mal de ça faire. Yeah. Non, Or you have temps? to be a specific type of black person sometimes mm -hmm. to fit whatever gender that they have at the moment, mm -hmm. you know, what's the question? And like very light on. skin. Yeah, or just like super sexualized yeah. or things like that. And yeah, fit fit like a certain like stereotype. Yeah. And the idea, the idea of what blackness is. Or like you the owe them your trauma. Oh, yeah. You owe them your trauma, oh, the whatever. trauma porn. Ooh. Yeah. I feel like Quebec is big on trauma oh, porn. Oh, vraiment. I feel like if you can tell people all your business, <laughs> <laughs> what makes you cry at night, Then they'll like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, tell me more about that. Like, a little black girl. Uh, yeah, je parlais justement de ça dans un autre panel, juste comme quoi, genre, just black people just like being and like being happy. Mm -hmm. Ils veulent rien savoir. That's like a threat to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mais just like, oui. <laughs> non, oui. and it's like this, you know, just like they, on, they only want to hear when we have like certain. Mm -hmm. Struggles, but comme genre, oh my god, you know. Mais il n'y a pas de vraiment d'action qui se passe. Non, non, c'est ça. C'est plus pour uh, the entertainment. Yeah, the yeah. entertainment. Yeah. Um, so, c'est pas mal. I don't know. Yeah. Représentation du. It's pretty much that. Il yeah. n'y a pas grand chose d'autre à dire. <laughs> um, Et surtout, puisqu'il manque de représentation, mm -hmm. même quand on parle de la production comme en arrière scène. Mm -hmm. Moi, je sais que côté genre maquillage, hair, honey, c'était n'importe quoi pour moi. Genre, surtout comme dans les productions où -ce que tu sais qu'ils ont du budget puis tout le monde a comme accès à, you know, ah, c'est yeah, yeah. comment tu terres là, c'est comment tu terres là. Yeah, Et yeah. moi, j'étais comme souvent exclue de ça. <rire> mm -hmm. Puis c'est juste après que, que tu t'en rends compte, c'est comme, oh, tu as une, une coupe de cheveux, genre, ah, oh, you have different color hair. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Everybody's getting makeovers? Personne m'en a parlé. Il n'y yeah, a pas de produit, il n'y a pas Parce de genre. Ah, yeah. notre commentaire. Notre commentaire. Ils ne savent pas comment faire des cheveux comme toi. Comme donc, toi. à moins que tu, genre, rédites des cheveux, genre. You know? Like, yeah. things like that. And it's just like, OK. Mm -hmm. Mais il me semble que, tu sais, ce n'était pas une petite production comme théâtre mm -hmm. euh, du coin, là. You ouais. know? Vous avez de l'argent. Donc, c'était comme. Pourquoi? Pourquoi vous n'êtes pas Parce capable de faire des On ne fait pas inclure. partie de qu ce qu'ils voient comme. Euh... Que les personnes qui sont dans la créativité au même niveau que. <laughs> ouais, mais ils savaient que j'étais là. So, yeah. <laughs> like, so exactly. You know? They just don't do the work. Yeah. They just really don't. Um, mais you have on... to like fight for it or ask for it. Or, exactly. And then you look like you're trying to cause problems. Est-ce que t'es facile? Est-ce que t'es facile? Après comme... ça, tu deviens genre like, you know, yeah. the, the aggressive one. That's yeah. just. A... Bro. Pas une affaire comme ça qu'on peut dire, mais on va faire un. So aggressive. You know, mais speaking just like on that aussi, tu sais, on va parler aussi de genre comment, genre like, black mental health. Really? It takes a toll. And just, like, yeah, just, it, it really takes a toll. Puis, tu sais, c'est comme, dans l'industrie, justement, ce qu'on parle, tu sais qu'il y a comme pas de représentation, qu'il y a, y a vraiment pas de place pour nous, ou quand il y a de la représentation, c'est vraiment tokenizing. Tu sais, après ça, ça nous laisse comme voir genre mais like how do we like actually like take care of ourselves yeah like and do we actually have like resources for us to take care of ourselves and do we feel like oui. we can On also take essential. care of it? yeah that On we can take care of ourselves essential. yeah so it's like you're a useless part of society apparently yeah and i can't remember the percentage but apparently like more than half of musicians in mm -hmm. general have mental health issues Mm -hmm. You know, puis ça c'est sans compter genre comme la diversité comme spécifiquement, you know? Yeah. Like specific segments. So I'm just like, a lot of us are struggling out here. And it definitely, 
uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how to express this right now. It's like you don't necessarily want to show any types of vulnerabilities because then uh, since artists are considered to be a little bit fl flaky or like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it's like, okay, if I know that you're struggling with this or that, can right. I trust you for this contract? Can I book you for this? Da, da, da. En plus, you're going to put like gender and mm. race and whatever else on top of that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, do, do I even want to ask for that help, you know? Yeah. So actually, I do want to ask you about the Black Healing Fund because that's yeah. something really awesome that mm -hmm. you started. Mm -hmm. it's, Tell us about that. Yeah, so it, it started with, um, with Kat. Um, who's an amazing poet, an amazing facilitator, um, like training to be therapists yes. also. Um, they're just really amazing and they just wanted to really have people um, really focus on the importance of black folks, um, having resources uh, and knowing those resources to um, achieve, continue, learn about healing um and our goal is to give black folks uh low-income black folks in Toshage, montreal discretionary funding to go on their journey of like healing um and the reason we do that is because we strongly believe that like no black person should ever have to pay for healing services yeah. whether that is like um the truc d'énergie de corps uh, the therapy in a world that mostly causes, like, on va se le dire, yeah. <laughs> un bon 99.9% de nos traumas, yeah, uh, and continuously doing so. And that goes also in just like, in every aspect of the world, fait que ça soit de manière de sécurité alimentaire, de sécurité financière, um, de genre, littéralement sécurité point euh, de notre existence. Mm -hmm. We truly believe that black people shouldn't have to like pay. I agree. For, and a couple figure steps for that, see? like real quick. And see, je pense que si comme si genre on peut on peut revenir un peu aussi sur comme l'industrie of just kind of like I I don't know about you. Je vais encore je vais parler peut-être de plus de moi, mais il y a aussi cette pression surtout quand t'es comme un artiste noir. De genre comme continuously push, 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 push. Mm -hmm. um, because <laughs> because yes. you're, you're like, je peux, pas, je peux pas arrêter, je peux pas genre take a minute, I can't like do that parce que je dois travailler genre mm -hmm. soit plus fort. Yeah, yeah. To do like something and, and to just have half a chance. Yeah. Mais après ça, il y a tellement genre comme la pression, le burnout, and then mm -hmm. you just don't feel like you can take a break. And that's also just coming again with just like capitalism and just like how capitalism just like uses people's identities and bodies to just profit a 1% that does not resemble them mm -hmm. and just like make us feel like we, if we do this, then we will get to that place. Mm -hmm. Mais même pas ça, because the system is just not even like rigged. for us. It's rigged. <laughs> it's rigged. It's rigged. Puis là, t'es juste comme, bro, genre, what, what is, how can I, like, can, can I afford to stop? Can I like actually afford to stop? I mean, I stop? can. <laughs> you no, know, but only because, only because I just value self-care and I yeah. value my health and sanity. Ouais, mais tu sais, like, j'ai l'impression que c'est quelque chose de I tellement nouveau to. aussi. What? Comme yo, nos parents, des affaires comme ça, ils ne pouvaient pas, yo, je ne pense pas qu'ils pouvaient parler des affaires comme ça. I'm a rebel. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I have to, I'm supposed to keep doing. Mais je pense qu'il y a tellement d'affaires mm -hmm. que maintenant on commence à unlearn. That and too. just like, bro, what? like really unlearning a lot of shit. Um, and internalized stuff and also just being like no I actually like I actually deserve to like take care of myself and that is also an act of itself like really revolutionary pretty rad pretty rad yeah. I asked this uh, artist um, who's overseas though right now and he's black mm -hmm. queer I was like yo like how would you say that people need to like level up in this like art music game? And he said, become a machine, <laughs> literally become a machine. And I was just kind of left like, hmm, that, 
that only just like perpetuates yeah, what we're talking about. It's like, okay, so about. a lot of us are still stuck in that mindset of like, you have to work. Mm -hmm. Not even twice as hard at this point, because with like technology and everything, it's like, yep, how many hats are you going to wear on top of that top and of try that. to stay sane yeah. within like having like 10 jobs within one? You yeah. Know? And I think it's so important to just like, <sighs> just dismantle tellement ces affaires-là, parce que je pense aussi que there's this a lot for like, Black folks, um, là, je vais parler comme, you know, de mon expérience, mais aussi avec des discussions que j'ai eues avec d'autres personnes noires. Mm -hmm. Aussi, genre, cette connotation de, like, we don't deserve, like, healing or taking care of, like, our mental health, because we need to just, like, survive, 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 and do, and do, and do. Puis ça, ça vient aussi de, comme, genre, obviously, like, genre intergenerational trauma mm -hmm. of just like you know like our parents and parents parents just trying to literally survive puis qui pass that on and just being like okay but what do you mean you're depressed you have like a roof over your head yeah. <laughs> you know type of thing yeah you have food I know <laughs> puis c'est comme you know genre that's not That's that's not it. There's like certain things that like at some point you realize like being like a black person qu'il y a plein d'affaires qui, qui sont contre toi dans ce système qui est juste comme parfait pour toi and that just like makes it really hard to to create a lot of like um, like genuine things in your life or like mm -hmm. je sais pas puis juste comme j'aime vraiment en ce moment il y a vraiment comme une, une like reclaiming our yes. our time our time our energy. reclaiming our energy reclaiming yes. the importance of like our mental health and like mm -hmm. spaces that we create like around that que je trouve que c'est vraiment like beautiful and just important yeah and even being able to protest through joyful expressions I feel like it's a new thing that's kind of like coming mm -hmm. up a lot. Ouais. Il y a des personnes qui sont comme, là, vous êtes en train de genre, it's like a protest, mais vous êtes en train de genre comme. Why are you dancing? Why are you dancing? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but there is like so much trauma in this world. Like, that's also that. Like, people think that, like, there's so much more to like us than just trauma mm. that we do not get to, to access. Yeah. And sometimes world, you need to shake the trauma out from your yeah. root chakra by shaking your booty a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. You know? See, tu comprends? Yeah. <laughs> But Pis, there's a lot more. Yeah. Right? But like even that, c'est comme genre, yeah, just like black joy is just like also just like a threat. And it's like, mm. yeah, it's, you know, it's like pretty, pretty hard. But I think like, comme tu as dit, genre des, des nouvelles conversations, nouvelles réalisations. Um, and I think that also comes a lot with just, I don't know, I feel like that happened, a, well, I, I know that it's a lot because of like black queers and black trans Maybe. people. Um, and I do feel that like our in our communities, we do talk about that way more than just like, Black people who are like straight and cis. Um, yeah, fake. Maybe we can talk about that a little bit more. Let's let's talk about queer spaces. Let's talk about the different queer spaces. Queer spaces. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like you'd probably be better versed in that because mm -hmm. I think that for me, based on my representation or how I choose to present myself, and yeah. also like. My sexuality, I feel like sometimes there weren't always spaces yeah. for me to exist in without necessarily like feeling like I'm taking up too much space or that I'm not like a hundred percent welcome. Mm -hmm. Of course, like queer spaces usually are super welcoming, but I think sometimes there's like little mm -hmm. like niches where it's like, okay, yeah. I'm being on the chair, yeah. I end up doing a little yeah. bit, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, how about you start on that? Yeah, um, I think the way I'm gonna like talk about it is like, um, but I, I still want to like tie it to like industry and stuff. And like, mm -hmm. I think for me, genre, il y a deux trucs que je vais parler, genre de vraiment comme like 
queer spaces as like a performer yeah and like being out of it too and True. like there is a nuance between yeah those two. je pense que comme there was a lot of time with like my band strange fruits where we like um at the time we were three and we're all like black and women and gender not conforming folks in it and whenever we had a lot of like queer shows they vraiment pas mal queer blanc mm -hmm. Fait qu'on n'avait pas vraiment l'impression d'avoir... Mais on ne sentait pas comme tant à l'aise, you know? Mm. Um, parce qu'il n'y avait pas vraiment du monde qui nous ressemblait. Um, fait que oui, il y avait l'aspect queerness. Mm -hmm. But there's also just a lot of time where we saw in those kind of like moments, c'est que genre plusieurs personnes qui sont queer et blanches des fois just kind of like think that because they're queer, that, like, that dissolves them of their whiteness. Ouais. And it's like, no, you're still white. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and, you know, just kind of like feeling that in those spaces that just because like you were queer, they just felt like we were like on the same level and we were like experiencing the same shit. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're really sure. not. Puis aussi, c'est important de parler du fait que comme, I think every person who's like, je pense à every person, but I feel like a lot of people who are like queer have internalized homophobia. Mm. Um, mais c'est différent pour comme une personne blanche queer versus une personne qui est autochtone queer ou noire queer ou racisée queer because of colonialism and just because of how colonialism literally, um, literally put homophobia in mm. a lot of our cultures, yeah, come on, Africa. Yeah. Um, and just like breaking also dans les communautés genre autochtone, like, you know, like, two-spirit, bi-spiritualité, tout ça, genre, was not okay. And like, you know, literally kind of like breaking it out of them. Because you come, when queer white folks come and just like, je sais pas, essaie de comme genre avoir the same type of experience with like us by being like, oh, you know, genre, tu sais, genre, cette homophobie que je ressens ou genre, the internalized homophobia that I had. I'm just like, c'est pas la même, you know? I think the sentiments are the same where like, in terms of like, mm -hmm. because the world make it, makes it that it's like, not, Sorry, I'm getting up yeah, <laughs> not okay to be like, queer ou genre yeah. tu sais comme c'est c'est pas la norme c'est pas c'est pas dans la l'hétéronormativité um like yes the sentiments are there but i'm like the roots of them are different the roots of them are different and the intergenerational like teaching and spewing of like hatred are not the same because of because of colonialism. And what's interesting is that when we do take the time to create spaces mm -hmm. just for us, let's say, like, okay, this is like BIPOC, you know, voilà. it might be open to other people, but like, maybe you'll have, maybe like white people will have to like pay to enter, things yeah. like that. There's always like a backlash that comes with that. Like, I want to have access to this space. To this I'm space. entitled to this space. Oui. I must be in this space. And it's the like, entitlement, it was. But like literally, if you weren't on Facebook or if you weren't like, if you didn't see that Twitter post, you wouldn't have known about the event. So like, why are you freaking out? You know? The entitlement, it was Puis genre, ça me fait penser à l'événement Joujouk que comme, il avait été fait que c'était littéralement pour cutie by Pox. Puis là, il y avait queer and like trans white folks qui avaient snap, qui avaient commencé yeah. à commenter sur... Euh, sur euh, Facebook, ben là, comment ça, c'est juste pour vous, blablabla. Bla, bla. Puis il y en avait un autre, un autre événement qui c'est ça, ça faisait juste payer plus les personnes blanches, puis que pour les personnes noires autochtones et racisées, c'était comme, euh, je pense que c'était genre zéro dollar pour les personnes noires et autochtones, et genre cinq dollars pour les personnes racisées. Puis les personnes blanches étaient en train de snap, là, comme genre, ben là, je comprends pas. C'est comme nous aussi, on est queer, on devrait être là. Blah, blah, blah. On est comme, okay, encore une fois, vous ne comprenez vraiment pas la différence. Vous ne comprenez vraiment pas, genre, how you're still white. You still hold white privilege. You still hold a lot of um, 
a lot of capital. You still hold a lot of like so much room yeah. all the time. And our experience of like queerness and transness and just like non binarity genre est vraiment différent ce qu'on prend en contexte like colonialism, imperialism and genocide and like it's like even c'est juste comme pas dans la discord mm. and it's and yeah they're just like so entitled it's and it's like strange. quand it's like... on quand on veut faire un espace pour nous they literally think it's like um an oppression towards them Ooh, and not yeah. a celebration it's towards ourselves. Space. Yeah. Every time. And not a celebration towards ourselves. And it's like, again, on a genre jamais, on peut jamais just comme célébrer the fact that we are here, alive, and like thriving. Riding. There you go. Voilà. Yeah. Tu comprends? Puis c'est comme, can we, can we do that? Can, can we literally do that in a world mm. that doesn't allow us to do it? Même pas, genre. I don't you know? even think they would make as much noise if, like, let's say the pricing thing wasn't a thing. <laughs> like, you probably, they probably wouldn't even be speaking about these events mm -hmm. necessarily. You know what I'm saying? It's just like as soon as there's like, yeah. as soon as they're met with a barrier, yeah. like, whereas like we deal with barriers and gatekeepers mm -hmm. all the time, um, it's just like, wait, you know? But at the same time, there are a lot of white allies out here. Still, 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 like, a, but it doesn't necessarily, uh, deserve finger snaps because it's no, like you're just supposed deserve, to be not yeah doesn't deserve oppressive. cookies you know exactly like work on your shit <laughs> exactly puis c'est pas la c'est c'est comme you know like when we talk about like I like shit too much see it's kind of like it's not a title that you give yourself it's really not like a title that you give yourself <sighs> it really isn't and you gotta like, you get mm -hmm. like. you gotta do the you gotta do the work And you have to like actively do it. C'est pas tu postes un infographic sur Instagram mm. and you're an ally. You mm. know, it's understanding how to the privileges that you have and wanting to challenge that in every aspect of your life and actively doing it. Yeah. Um, and talking about it. You know, if you're talking about it doesn't mean like you'll have the answer like right now. Exactly. We're all learning and unlearning like, and learning you know? and unlearning. So, P. Yeah, c'est ça. Genre, just like queer spaces. But then it's like, je sais pas, je veux genre dans d'autres espaces where it's like doing like hip hop. P. Mm -hmm. I do, I do see, I, I do see a black community. But then it's like, The homophobia and the yeah. transphobia is like real, um, and um, it's so deep in our community. See, and it's so ironic considering like yeah. our traditional culture. Like, like colonialism. You need to read more. Like you know? learn where you're from. Like learn literally. What your culture but it was like is. so engraved and beaten and like broken <sighs> yeah. out of us because of colonialism and just like just to come. We we really like you know they really think it's like not. It's the gay agenda. Yeah, it's the gay agenda. Like, there's a whole conspiracy, apparently. You know? Puis, yeah. je trouve qu'on en parle vraiment pas assez. Ça, ça revient à qu ce que j'ai dit quand, quand genre, euh, notre expérience of just, like, internalized homophobia is just not the same with, like, white queers. Mm. Um, mais, tu sais, comme dans ces espaces-là, c'est comme, yeah, for sure. Je vais, genre, um, like, you know, like, have my people and stuff. Mais, right. genre... Yeah, you're whole... gonna feel safe like all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, all around. Like, pas vraiment. You know, I don't think I can be like I can express, um, like my my queerness the same way. Um, and if I do, there's still a lot of like, you know, like binaries around it. Mm. Um, like, <laughs> uh, but you look, you know, your mask is antique, you know. A bunch of who's, assumptions yeah, just based who's, on that. Who's the top? That's you, right? <laughs> and not to say that that doesn't happen in the queer community as well, because there's a lot of internalized also just like... Just the gender roles. and The gender roles. Yeah. And just like, in, in, like, I think there's also that also in queer communities when you're just like trying to get accepted. Mm. And sometimes when you want to get like accepted, you try to like 
enforce the heteronormative norms of like gender roles to just like survive and some people just like yeah just like have that like engraved but then it's like même pour nous c'est détrimental déjà in the queer community and just being like <laughs> yeah like you can only be a top or like a bottom <laughs> like you know um mais c'est comme i don't know there's so much so much to say so like so so much to say yeah i do i do have to say though that the one time that i felt like pretty at ease in general was like playing fierté mm-hmm. You know, um, I mean, I did have a couple hiccups, but I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put y'all on blast right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe for another another recording. No you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but generally, like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, like I'm here. I'm not feeling tokenized, mm-hmm. you know, for my blackness or anything. Yeah. And people are nice around me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's a nice kid to talk to himself for real yeah. because. C'est vraiment pas la réalité de comme plein de monde. And just ça. like also how like white gays just like really took <laughs> pride and really took that shit for themselves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like actually. Yeah. Um, and now there's like movements to like taking black pride. Mm-hmm. Because which is that's really how, cool. mm, how it's hard. But then there's a lot of backlash that's coming you know? with that. Voilà. And they come, yeah. est-ce qu'on peut se rappeler c'est qui a commencé? Genre how pride was like a riot? Can we talk about oh. Silva Rivera, Michael P. Johnson? Let's go. See? Mm. Um, mais yeah, tu sais, comme, I guess, like, une question pour toi, parce que, tu sais, on a commencé à parler, genre, euh, queer spaces, puis à un moment donné, t'avais dit, comme, tu sais, des fois, je sais pas si j'ai l'impression que je prends trop de place, ou les gens sont comme, yeah. c'est pas ta place ici. And, you know, I think that ties into a little bit of, like, well, it ties into femphobia. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, just kind of like. Je parlais de ça genre avec ma copine il n'y a pas longtemps comme quoi elle était comme yo il y a comme peut-être quoi six sept ans whatever genre <laughs> it was like the mask people that were like ruling the queer community yeah. whether it's in like events um, whether in like uh, yeah just like events like community organizing stuff. Mm-hmm. Puis elle était comme tu sais je pense qu'il y a un plus gros changement puis and like you see more. Like queer femmes, just like, and trans feminine people as well, just exactly. like having more, more, more room. Puis je pense que that is like also that is important to recognize. Le voit aussi si mais tu en même temps like fem fem phobia is is like real, uh, in in the queer community. Um, I think for me, it's so internalized that I didn't mm-hmm. even realize it was a thing. Yeah. Kind of. Mm-hmm. I think my experience with that has been like kind of nuanced. And I mean, most experiences are mm-hmm. nuanced. Um, but like, you know, because when people first see me, they're just like, okay, like a cis black woman who's probably straight, you know? So if I show up in a queer space, it's kind of like, are you here to like, you know, Be one of them. <laughs> you know. Be one of them. I'm like, no, I promise. Uh, yeah. You know? So there's, you know, and I think there's a, because I'm aware and I'm conscious that a lot of, like, cis women can be harmful in the community mm-hmm. or even, because we are also accepting of, like, different, like, fluidity or whatever. So sometimes, you know, somebody brings their straight friend and it's like, it's fine. This cis one is a cool one. And then sometimes... They cause harm, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes I, the way I present myself, you know, I might be projecting as well, you know what I'm saying? Mais aussi, je pense que c'est beaucoup de l'éternisation, encore une fois, de just kind of like, I don't know, just like, femme, pe- femme people are like dramatic, like, or, you know, like, extra, or... I am extra, though. I ain't gonna... Il n'y a, a rien de mal là-dedans, mais il y a cette connotation, monde, mais y a cette connotation ouais. négative qui vient avec. C'est ça. Il n'y a rien de mal là-dedans, mais il y a cette connotation négative. Puis ça, it's rooted in, like, misogyny. Mm-hmm. Um, and, tu sais, comme, yeah, just kind of, like, not taking femmes seriously. Yeah. I think the... 
in a yeah. lot of things. It's just like in Definitely a lot for, of like, positions. Sound, sound production, sound engineering, like that type of thing. Like mm -hmm. I remember once coming to a show and the sound man was like, um, do you know how to like connect your microphone? <laughs> That's like literally the basic thing that you have to do as a singer. Like you don't have that much equipment. Mm -hmm. Like hopefully you know how See? to like the XLR, boom, like what's up, <laughs> you know? Um, so uh -huh. things like that is a little bit strange. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes I'm like, okay, uh, I've actually had a lot of trouble finding producers that I want to work with because, uh, because it would be kind of like, usually a lot of them were men, mm -hmm. a lot of them were straight men and it ended up kind of being like, hey, okay, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you're not, you're not with this. You don't want to do the do. <laughs> oh, okay. So like what we've been working on, never mind. Yeah. You know, so then at some point it's just like, can I just work? Yeah. You know, do I have to like dress differently now when I show up at like a sound thing, you know? Yeah. So I've been experimenting a little bit with that, but at the same time, it's like, why do I need to like change the way I dress or change the way yeah. I do my hair or like yeah. not wear makeup to like seem approachable or like not someone that you'd want to take advantage of yeah. in yeah. a studio professional setting? You know, mm -hmm. so that's like definitely very frustrating or just like the the assumption that you have a lack of ability or the assumption that you're just like ignorant, mm -hmm. you know, so that's definitely crappy. But at the same time, because I've experienced so much of it and I am, I do try to stay like humble, you know, I think I take that on, you know, and I'm like wearing this like, oh, people are probably going to think that I'm not this or I'm not you know, smart enough, I'm not, you know? So it's like, okay, let not me just- Not queer enough, not this let enough, me just, not- woo, yeah. Ah, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's a lot to deal with in a way. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, why are you complaining? You know, I get that a lot too, if I want to talk about it. Yeah. Because it's like being femme does come with like certain perks, apparently, is what people tell me. And I'm mm. like, mm. we all have a certain yeah. level of a Most, privilege, yeah. but yeah. like we're all going through shit over yeah. here, you know? Mm -hmm. Mais aussi, je pense que genre le fait de genre, like, why you complain about it, also just ties in into message noir. Aussi, on va se le dire, on mm. va l'appeler comme ça aussi. Um, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. pourquoi, like, you know, like, literally, like, black women and black femmes just, like, holding the world down and everybody, like, yeah. and then when it's time to talk about stuff that we feel like when it's like we're literally there for like people and stuff like that. Puis quand c'est le temps de genre comme talk about our vulnerabilities and blah blah. But like, oh, mais genre, I thought like you were like like strong. I thought you were like blah blah. Mm -hmm. And it's like you know, and to like everything that you're saying is just like really is that in the queer community. I think also just like again assuming that like femmes are just like straight or like femmes are just like yeah. You know, <laughs> just this this category of like, oh, well, you're a femme, then you must be like that. You must be like this. You must be like that. You must be like that. Whether like sexually, whether you're in like yeah. your interactions, whether Especially in your roman roman yeah. romantic like connections. And again, it's just kind of like ties in into misogyny and just like sexism and just even like studs who don't like want to like touch upon like their feminine energy yeah. or you know and like connotation negative que la autour de ça genre, yeah, you know? I've been talking to a friend about that who recently got into like drag makeup yeah and they were telling me like yo I had such trouble just even taking that first step into wanting to interact with makeup because of like the connotations of makeup with femininity but then they realize like, wait, this is just another form of expression and it doesn't yeah. necessarily even have to be to portray femininity, mm -hmm. you know? I, I could paint my face whatever way. Yeah. So there's, it's like, it crushes creativity, like all the suppression, man. Yeah. And they're so talented too, so I'm glad that they're able to like reconcile mm -hmm. that for themselves. And I think there's like so much internalized femme phobia that we like all need to like work on, mm -hmm. like, Specifically, <laughs> the ones who are like mask, and I like. I think that the person who are come like, you know, like I have some to do. Like I have some to like work on for sure. 
mais ça se voit tellement. It's just like, it, it's, it's just again, like femininity is just like this thing that is seen as like weak, whether it's like in the straight world and like even in the queer community. Mm. And, you know, and it's like, yeah. It's like, there's have you like, not seen Mother Earth though? Yeah, like, there's, there's a reason <laughs> also like, that's, there's a reason why like, like it's more trans women that get like killed and that's because of misogyny you know and like yeah and yeah and it's it's just like yeah i think it's like really important to like talk about that as well in like the queer community like just the internalized like homophobia that like that there is there and um puis ça, ça va aussi de comme genre you know like gay dudes who are just like mask for masks and they just like actively like <laughs> like just like just like they're great and just like say some fun shit about like gay dudes who aren't masks and yeah. it's like oh you good <laughs> like literally like um and then people end up literally masking their real yeah. selves sometimes to like fit into yeah. those ca- categories yeah like i need to uh yeah wow yeah So yeah, I thought I thought it was like good for us to like talk about it because c'est ça t'as fait le point de genre je sais pas si des fois j'ai genre ma place ou j'ai dit des fois genre les gens sont comme qu'est-ce qu'est-ce c'est parce que t'as dit ça genre qu'est-ce qu'il fait là genre whatever mm-hmm. and that's like little that literally ties in into femphobia. I guess so. Yeah. It's another check on my little thing <laughs> that I have to on deal box with. That yeah. like, but it's like so real and we need to like work on on that like a hundred twenty five percent. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Femphobia needs to go. Needs to fucking We're go. Done. We're done needs with to it. go. And that's it for the <laughs> BIPOC hour. Thank you, Zap. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Gitchy, wabbish, gay, maqua. BIPOC hour. This is me, Anaconda La Sabrosa, and I am here today with my very good friend, Miami Minx. Chloe. And we are here today to talk to you about the beautifulness of being Latinx. Donc, comme vous cherchez à le savoir, on est des belles personnes qui sont même des drag performeurs. Donc, de mon côté, mon nom c'est Anaconda La Sabrosa, like I was saying. And um, I've been doing drag for 800 years now. <laughs> so I'm pretty much um, 
an old person doing drag, which is not true. I'm still young at heart. That's what old people say, but yes. <laughs> um, and on my end, uh, I'm a burlesque performer. I've been doing it for uh, four years. Uh, I'm a drag performer who uh, does more, instead of lip syncing, I take my clothes off on stage and present my beautiful self to people. Um, so yeah. It's very hot. <laughs> If you haven't seen Miami perform, get ready to be sweating because their performances are really hot and sensual and really, really caliente. But not, not, not today. Today, this, you don't get that package today. No, right? today we're, we are playing our diva <laughs> fantasy. Yes. So we were asked to come here by Fierté Montréal parce qu'ils ont dit Anaconda. On t'aime tellement, depuis le temps que tu existes, on devrait te voir tellement plus souvent. Mais qu'est-ce que nous pouvons faire pour faire ça? In, in the modern day context, I think these um, conservative groups, and actually even just probably amongst a lot of Middle Eastern people in general, um, they view being queer, you know, whether it's being gay or lesbian or trans or whatever it might be, I think they view it as a Western import. Huh? They do. They do. They definitely do. Every time, every time a queer, a, a, a men, a, a men, a queer comes out, it's always, oh, you've been Westernized. Or brainwashed. Or brainwashed. Yeah, yeah brainwashed. That was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my favorite. Brainwashed. <laughs> but Westernized was is definitely one of the main ideas behind. It. It's like, yeah. oh, the media did this. All these, they're trying to normalize it. Oh, it's the pride flag. It's turning you into a demon. Right. And so there's this, <laughs> there's, you know, it's the, the, this idea that it's Western. It's a Western import. Right. Yeah. Is in big part due to, as you've said, colonization, mm -hmm. which is uh, in the last 150 years, right? Right. Yeah. So it's in the last 150 years. So that created a lot of laws. Most of the laws actually uh, come from that. Right. So after the fall of the Ottoman Empire, and then you have you know European um, powers coming into the MENA region and sort of divvying up these. Uh, and creating the modern day nation states, exactly. they, they imposed their um, French their, and British. Yeah, their legal systems. And many of those laws that are, you know, might be anti gay still exist today, right? And they exactly. came, and so again, they came from the imperialist power. Queer Asians' sexualities and gender identity is so tied mm -hmm. into like a relationship with the community that that is often through the lens of which like these gets expressed. So to come mm -hmm. back, for example, to Tam's story, even though she didn't come out to everyone, like I found it very interesting about how she used like her unique position mm -hmm. in like the Asian queer community as like being both asexual and aromantic. Mm -hmm. And she has been advocating for her other queer Asian friends who are not asexual and mm -hmm. not aromantic and have other queer sexualities and gender identity and trying to like communicate with their families and mm -hmm. with their parents and to establish like a dialogue of like what it means to be queer and what mm -hmm. that is and trying to kind of educate them and she told me that she's in a very good position to do that be that be is like because of her sexuality yeah like she doesn't have a partner to hide mm -hmm. you know she like mm. anything that she does would not reflect badly on her family mm -hmm. because she just doesn't have anything to hide. Right. So I think like that's a very interesting way to build community and bridge, you know, a lot of the gaps between um, the older generation and the younger generation and queer Asians right. and straight Asians. Right, you know? right, right. Yeah, there's a lot of unmaking right, yeah. that needs to happen. Um, What's interesting when we think about loving others or loving yourself mm -hmm. is, again, to step away from the framework of individualism, yeah. right? And how even in the notion of loving yourself mm -hmm. is not rooted in the individual, but mm -hmm. rather um, through relations. And I yeah. think a lot about kinship and kin making. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot about different types of solidarity movements that uh, mm -hmm. and social movements that kind of allow those relational bridges to happen. What I found many people think about is sometimes there are people who Canada is not their second country. Sometimes people assume, oh, you came from that country directly to, to Canada. People don't know that sometimes there are people who are having to jump from a country to a country mm -hmm. to a country to a country until they arrive to Canada. It's a big journey 
-hmm. for many people. Like for example, for me, it's my fifth country and it was not easy. And I know many of my friends, they had you know, to live undocumented in other countries even before arriving to, to Canada. So living here as a refugee sometimes could be not the only time this person has lived as a refugee. They could have jumped, they, they could have had to go from a country to a country to a country. Um, and sometimes from unsafe country to LGBT people to another unsafe country for LGBT people. Appartenant à, à des pays comme Haïti, des peuples nés de la traite négrière. <laughs> en fait, est, le vaudou est, est en quelque sorte euh, une mémoire de la traite négrière. Donc, euh, je me présente souvent comme une autrice vaudou, une femme vaudou, parce que je me sens à l'aise là-dedans, parce que le vaudou est transversal. Le vaudou me permet de, de, de voguer dans, dans tout type d'univers, de, de, de parler de ce que je veux et de, de lutter pour la cause humaine en général. Le vaudou me permet d'inclure et non d'exclure. Moi, je suis une personne qui, qui aime l'intégration, qui aime la participation de tous. J'ai horreur de la marginalisation, j'ai horreur de la méchanceté humaine. Dans le vaudou, je me retrouve complètement parce que le vaudou, ça guérit, ça invite à la danse, ça, ça inclut tout le monde. Il y a des gens qui se disent que ce n'est pas technique, dans le sens que la seule danse qui a de la technique, c'est les ballets ou les contemporains. Mm -hmm. Mais il y a une technique dans le vogue, il y a une technique dans les hip-hop, il y a mm -hmm. une technique dans tous les styles de danse. Ouais. Comme... Ces gens-là, ils s'entraînent mm -hmm. pour faire qu ce qu'ils font. C'est pas... Oh, rare. Ouais. Ouais, ouais. Comme il y a... Moi, je trouve qu'il y a quand même une technique, peu importe les styles de danse. Mm -hmm. Puis il y a beaucoup de gens qui ne comprennent pas ça ou qui ne le voient pas. Oui, oui. Ouais. Ce... Mais en fait, c'est... C'est une éducation qui est constante, hein, on va mm -hmm. dire, que même genre, nous, en tant qu'homosexuels, il y a comme une certaine... Euh, on, est, on doit encore éduquer certaines personnes, on doit encore parler justement de ça, de leur faire mm -hmm. voir que comme, tu sais, on vit tous des expériences complètement différentes dans nos vies, même si on est deux Latinos à Montréal, nos vies sont complètement différentes, oui. on vit vraiment... Euh, C'est ça.